There are two main types of exchanges when it comes to buying and selling cryptocurrencies. Order book exchanges or automatic market maker exchanges, aka AMMs. But how do they work and what are their differences? An order book records limit orders where market participants specify desired prices for buying or selling assets. Trades occur when buy and sell orders match in price. Let's consider a scenario on an order book exchange. Mary wants to buy 5 BTC at $2 each, while Mark seeks a better deal for 6 BTC at $1 each. They create limit orders to buy their desired BTC quantities at different prices. To buy their BTC, they need someone to accept their offers. Terry wants to sell his BTC instantly, so he placed a market order to sell 8 BTC immediately regardless of the price. The exchange helps Terry to find the highest buying price, which is Mary's offer of $10 for 5 BTC. However, Terry still has 3 BTC to sell, so the exchange helps Terry find another buyer, Mark, who offers $1 for each BTC. Terry sells the remaining 3 BTC to Mark, earning a total of $13. Mark acquires 3 BTC for $3, but must wait for someone else to sell him another 3 BTC. In contrast, AMMs like Uniswap do not rely on matching buyers and sellers. Instead, they use a mathematical formula to automatically determine trade prices based on the asset supply within a liquidity pool. Trades are made directly with the liquidity pool by using a smart contract to swap one asset for another. Now let's look at an AMM exchange in action. Mary wants to buy 5 BTC using an AMM exchange. Based on the supply of 100 BTC and $100 in the liquidity pool, the AMM calculates $5.30 as the price of the trade. Mary agrees with the price and submits the order to the smart contract. $5.30 is taken from Mary's wallet and placed into the pool, while she takes 5 BTC from the pool. So what are the pros and cons of using order books versus AMMs? With limit orders, it helps reduce the risk of slippage, even for large orders. This also gives traders more flexibility with their trades, as they can specify the price of a trade to be executed. However, order books are inefficient and can perform poorly in markets with low liquidity when orders are matched slowly due to lack of participants. Besides that, orders are visible to everyone, making it vulnerable to market manipulation. One example is spoofing, which creates false interest by placing large orders with no intentions to execute it. AMMs solve liquidity issues in markets with low participant activity by eliminating the need to match buyers and sellers, ensuring users can always obtain asset prices regardless of trading volume. However, AMMs commonly experience slippage, particularly when liquidity pools are insufficient to handle large orders. Compared to order books, AMMs offer less flexibility for a user's orders, as they can only trade at the current asset price. Currently, order books are commonly used by centralized exchanges, while most decentralized exchanges like Uniswap use the AMM system. There are, however, decentralized exchanges, such as DYDX, that use the order book system for trades. Which kind of exchange do you usually use to trade cryptocurrencies? Meanwhile, check out this video to refresh your memory on market versus limit orders.